It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 2523, A Better and More Ethical Approach to Decluttering Your Home by Emma Scheib of simpleslowlovely.com and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Monday. This is where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from covering personal development, minimalism, happiness, and productivity on this show. We cover a bunch of other topics in the Optimal Living Daily Podcast Network, Definitely check out those shows if you like this one. Just search for Optimal Living Daily to find all of them. And now let's get right to our Minimalist Monday post and start optimizing your life. A Better and More Ethical Approach to Decluttering Your Home by Emma Scheib of simpleslowlovely.com. Decluttering your home is one of the most rewarding things you can do. The benefits of a clutter-free environment include less stress, less debt, and more time to spend with family and friends. I did an initial big declutter a few years ago now and haven't looked back. Every season I fine-tune things, but for the most part, I've remained clutter-free. But early on in my minimalist journey, I began to realize that I wasn't cut out for the fill up a skip or dumpster approach. I abhor the damage humanity is doing to our planet, and I wanna do my bit to reduce my footprint on the environment. So I've chosen to adopt a more mindful approach to decluttering our home. Trash or treasure. One thing that helps to stick with this more mindful approach is to consider what I like to call the unlived lives of items. Because the old adage is really true. My trash could be someone else's treasure. Like the motorbike helmet that's been sitting in our garage for over seven years. Maybe a story wasn't supposed to end there. Maybe he was meant to spend his remaining days saving the life of a teenage boy who took more risks than he should on his new motorbike. Then there's the old laptop sitting in the spare wardrobe. The hinge is broken and it's old and slow, but perhaps it could become a donor, parts contributing to other electronics that would have a similar fate, but when combined are saved from landfill and become useful again. The winter coat from our overseas trip a decade ago might not be fashionable now, but is still in perfect condition. It would proudly keep the cold from a new owner for years to come. Taking time to consider who might benefit from our unwanted things can be a great alternative to just leaving them at the door of our local thrift shops. A tale of two coffee makers. Of course, we shouldn't place such high unwarranted value on inanimate objects. They are just things after all. But what if these things we have tucked away in our closets and garages could add value to someone else's life? Left in our closet, they possess little to no value if we aren't using them. But placed in the hands of someone who desperately needs that particular object, our clutter becomes their treasure. A few years ago, we were given an old coffee machine. The owners had upgraded and we were about to take their old one, which worked perfectly fine, to the local recycling center. Thankfully, it found its way to our house instead. Let's just say coffee is an important thing in our house. I initially kept our plungers thinking they might come in handy as an option, but after a couple of months, they just annoyed me gathering dust in the corner of the bench. One of my friends had always used instant coffee, partly because other types of coffee are just that much more of a stretch on the budget. So I popped over for a coffee and took the plungers I no longer needed along with some coffee to start her off. Two mindful decisions about unwanted items made a difference for two families. And if you are a parent who's been living with sleep deprivation for years, you'll know these were life-changing differences. Mindful decluttering. Decluttering the things you don't need and keeping only what's really important is one of the central tenets of minimalism. But I don't buy into the instant gratification that chucking unwanted items in bags and mindlessly discarding them brings. This approach feels shallow and empty, mindless. There have been some unfortunate consequences following the popularity of Marie Kondo's Netflix show. Charity stores are overwhelmed worldwide and have struggled to keep up with the influx of the craze. When you're decluttering your home, it's easier to just drop boxes outside your local thrift shop. Out of sight, out of mind, right? I used to bag up any unwanted clothes and take them to my local thrift shop, which shall remain nameless. However, one day, while walking past the back of the shop, I discovered them unloading bags and bags of donated clothes into the trash. Once I recovered from the shock and horror of this, 
Fast fashion is the second biggest environmental polluter next to oil. I did some research and found another local organization who sort through items and send any that aren't good enough for resale to be made into rags. Four reasons to try mindful decluttering. Number one, save the environment. As I mentioned before, textile rubbish is one of the fastest growing contributors to the pollution of our environment. Buying secondhand items or purchasing from clothing manufacturers that are eco-friendly, think organic, sustainable material, helps this problem. And so does ensuring that what we remove from our closet isn't just dumped. Check with your local secondhand store to find out what they do with items they can't put on their racks. Number two, give to receive. Instead of delivering boxes and bags to a shop, consider finding people who might need your things and delivering them directly. It's such a privilege and a gift to be able to make someone's day by giving them something. And the adage saying it is better to give than to receive really is true. The joy that giving brings is incomparable. Number three, make some money. I love that giving our items to local thrift shops helps organizations such as the Salvation Army and the SPCA and I'm not advocating for not donating at all to these places, but if time allows, consider selling your items. Put the money towards debt or put it away for your next holiday. And number four, repurpose. A few years ago, I started following the repurposing trends showing up in my Pinterest feed. Repurposing or reusing our rubbish is the best option after refusing items. If you can repurpose anything, do this before recycling. Even if you decide to take this more mindful approach to 10% of your decluttering, it can make a huge difference to the environment, your bank balance, and your community. You just listened to the post titled A Better and More Ethical Approach to Decluttering Your Home by Emma Scheib of simpleslowlovely.com. Thank you to Emma. With technology, the ability to now sell and give away items is even easier. I remember like 20 years ago or so, if you wanted to get rid of an old couch, let's say, the first method was likely to put it on the sidewalk with a free sign on it and hope someone driving by would see it and take it off your hands. The second option would probably be asking around to see if someone wanted it. There were classified ads, but a bit of a pain and you'd often have to pay to be in the good ones and dumping something that big is definitely a hassle. But now there's Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and more, which will allow you to post it and either sell it or give it away for free, and there's no charge to do that, besides the time it takes for you to write up a description and maybe take a picture of the item. Of course, there's some safety concerns that should be taken into account, but overall, it's a lot easier now. And rehoming is a win-win for you, for the person getting the item, the item itself, since hopefully it will continue to be used, and the environment. So definitely think about it when you're on your own decluttering journey. And with that, I hope you're having a great journey. Thank you for being here. Have a great rest of your day and start to your week. And I'll be back tomorrow reading to you where your optimal life awaits.